Did you get along when you were younger? No. No. Not at all. It's to run around with the kitchen knife. Welcome to my YouTube channel and today I have a special guest, my sister Tracy. So that <laughs> that's what Remy does when she's, when she's excited. <laughs> my new pet. <laughs> when we did the video, um the, the video about our cupcakes business, people really liked her on YouTube. So I was like, okay, let's have her back. So welcome. Hi! <laughs> Alright, so this is Tracy and she's my younger sister, and today we're gonna be playing sister tag. So, all right, so we have some questions here. And oh, there's this, there was this lovely thing that I wanted to read. If there's one person on this planet who you constantly annoy, yet love them to death, it's your sister. The sibling relationship is a weird bond that defies all constraints of logic. One moment you're fighting like cats and dogs, and the other you're defending them and beating up their bullies. Your relationship is sure to have some secrets and some memories, which we are going to recount today in this exciting sister tag. Oh, okay, okay. Right. I don't find that we fight a lot though. Not anymore, but we used to fight a lot. Yeah, I'll never forget that day. All right, let's, well, hold on. We're, that's a different video. Okay. You knew the day though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I knew the day, I knew the day. Okay, first question. What do you like about your sibling? I, I like a lot of things about you, but I'm gonna say the first thing that came to mind mm -hmm. was your confidence in yourself that you that you invoke in others. Like you just think you're the best thing ever. Like right. Jodie cannot pass a mirror without being like, oh damn. But she actually makes you want to feel that way about yourself as well, and I, that's something that I really like. Because mm, I hang around beautiful people. Yeah. See, see, <laughs> like she just makes you feel good, like even though she's being vain. <laughs> Okay. So do I now have to answer the question about you too? I think so. Okay. Okay. What I like most about you is that you're emotional. <laughs> you, you like that? I don't know. I feel like because I'm very non-emotional, like you'd be like, Jody, that's sad. Like, you know, you should maybe say something. Yes. Or you'd be like, Joe, you know, that's 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 not nice. You know, you're 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 being mean. And I'd be like, oh, okay. So yeah. I kind of like that you have that softer, more emotional side because it kind of makes up for me being like a piece of brick. Yeah. Yeah. What was the last text you sent to each other? What were we asking just this morning? I sent you, the last text I sent you was the information on the baby stuff that I was like, trying to... Um, oh, and I haven't read it. Yeah. Okay. What <laughs> she, left me on blue, <laughs> she left me on blue tick. What do you and your sibling have in common? Our beauty. I was going to say that and I was like, you know what, let me not say that because we just said that I was big. So I was like, all right, cool, let me think of like, we're, we're really smart. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Um, in which area are you and your sibling the complete opposite? Wow. I would say that we're opposites in a lot of things. Okay, the one that comes to mind mm -hmm. is that Jody likes a lot of stuff. Like she loves a lot of clothes, she loves a lot of shoes, where I'm like, no. Minimalistic? Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. But I love that you love a lot because then, then you, you know, get. Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> How often do you argue? Not lots. I can't even remember our last argument. Hmm. Okay. Describe your sibling with three adjectives. What's an adjective? It's a describing word. Ah, yes. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. Jump, hop, skip. Okay, those are action words, not really describe them. Those, <laughs> those are verbs. Okay, <laughs> those are verbs. Okay, okay, okay. All right, adjective is a describing word. So one. I'm going to say that you're beautiful, kind, and funny. Wow, I like those ones, yeah. especially the first one. <laughs> All right, I will say that you are magnanimous. Jody, what does magnanimous mean? I don't know. Mean? But I thought <laughs> All right, I will say that you're pretty. Okay, thank you. You're caring. Thank you. And you're gifted. In what, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no. Um, like you're very, you're you're very artsy fartsy. Okay. Like I like your artsy fartsiness. You know, like ah. you dress like weird, but it's cute. But if I do it, it's like what the hell. Um, like I like that you're you're artistic. 
thank you, girl. Okay. okay. Um, who takes longer to get dressed? Me. Definitely, Jody. Who keeps their room home cleaner? Definitely, Jody. Um, who takes longer to do their hair? I uh, think you. Me, yeah. What does your sister talk about the most? Oh, Scott, no. Scott, Scott. My faha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my surgery. It's my faha. <laughs> who watches more TV? You. Yeah? You, for sure. For sure. I think my cable in my room is broken, actually. Probably. Actually, yeah. And the cable downstairs, like, since Jody and... Since Jody and Sean have moved in here has not been working. I had to call Scott over the other day to, to fix, fix the cable. I was like, Scott, yeah. can you come and fix the cable? Like, Joe, this almost please. Yeah, Scott, he just does everything. Scott, Scott, Scott. He's great. Ugh. He's magnanimous. He's magnanimous. <laughs> um, what are your siblings' weirdest, weird obsessions? I have to say Jody's weirdest obsession, which has been for like forever and a day from anybody that has known Jody, ask Daniel, ask Lindsay, has to be, she love rub things. Like in oh. the nighttime, she loves to rub. Like she's rubbing like this. She rubs this cream right here. Then she rubs another cream here. Then she have another cream for the nipple. Then she have one for the underbreast. And she rubbing her legs. It's like, Jody, what are you rubbing? You love raw, but I make a good cream. I made your cream the other day, and you love it, though. The best cream. Okay. Best cream all right. Okay. Ever so, had all right. Higher life. Okay. Cool. Your weird obsession is like the artwork that you pick and that you like. You like these artsy, artsy. Like it's kind of it's like that head you gave me. You don't you, like it? It's on the brand, and I, 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 it looks good there. But Tracy was like, oh my god, I got you the best birthday present. I got you the best I need to remember to take a picture of it. I got you the best birthday present. It's so perfect. And mommy was like, alright, I just need to warn you. Tracy got you. She did get you a birthday present. And it's nice, but it's not your style. But she's so excited to give it to you. Yo, I unwrapped this weird ass head. And I was like, it looks great on the brown. And I put some moss in the mouth. So it looks artsy farts here. Okay, that's I want to go back to the question you asked. Like, how are we different? Like, Jody, Jody is decor is definitely very um like um it's like almost sterile it's modern and almost where mine is like bohemian like i love the this head was not bohemian tracy it was fabulous it, it is, is fabulous. weird artsy fartsy like the man known in portuguese carved it with the mouth like that why it had to look like you know that movie scream it does not i don't know tracy it's kind of weird but it looks good on the brand where it is I'm gonna buy you more. Time. No, 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 <laughs> no, please don't. Um, what's your sibling's biggest talent? Um, Jody's biggest talent. I can make this vein move. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, no, that's Sean that does that. Okay, well, you just. Um... Oh, I can't remember my talent. All right. I was going to say Jody's biggest talent is planning things with great execution. Like she definitely knows how to plan from beginning to end. Um, that's something I don't have. I don't have any planning skills. Jody is like Christmas present queen galore. I will just like not give you a present. I'm like, okay, peace and love. <laughs> love ya. <laughs> but Jody plans out and, and her execution is always on point. Like to me, that's a talent because like I just can't do that. <laughs> oh, cool. I would say your talent is always finding the positive. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that's really nice, Joe. Yeah. So, because I guess I can't. Yeah, you're good at finding the positives for oh, sure. Oh, thank you. Is that a talent? I, I appreciate it. Okay, so we found talents that are like very artsy fartsy. What's like a physical talent? A physical talent like, like you a, do? Yeah, like a. a I'm gonna have to say you're costume designing for your carnival costume. Really? Yeah. I'd say I'm good at it, but I'm not like amazing. Yeah, but I think it takes a lot of patience to sit down there and decide which bee goes where, and then you, you sew like the little wire things mm -hmm. and you bend them. Like that, that's patience. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thanks. You, you're a good hairdresser. Ah! Yes, that's a good talent. Yeah, ah, okay, okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, that's a really good one. Okay, what's something you like to do together? 
everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Remember when we lived together? Didn't. I think Sean lived with us too, but we don't really remember him. <laughs> Yo, Jody and I shared a bed. She had we had separate rooms, but we slept in the same bedroom until I moved out. And I moved out before Jody moved out. <laughs> Jody was crying. She's like, why are you leaving me? I'm like, Joe, yeah. it's time to leave the nest. She's like, no. no. The nest was comfortable. I come back to the nest. So we do everything together, like everything. Jesus. Even to this day, like Sean knew if you're marrying Jody, you get, get Tracy. Tracy. And yeah. Scott knew if you marry Tracy, you get, get Jody. Jody. Yeah. Do you have nicknames for each other? No. no. Jiggy, Jiggy Joe. Jiggy Trey? Yeah. Yeah, but we didn't give that to our, ourselves. That was Dan that, Diggy Dan that gave that to us. Yeah. Okay. Why do you keep looking at my lips? They look nice and shiny. Oh, okay. How much time do you spend together? A lot. You think so? I think, so I think like, it's a lot. I don't think it's that much. Surely if I wake up and I don't have anything to do, I come over to your house. Well, I appreciate that. But then it's a lot of time. Ah, I find you could be here more. What does Sean think? I always wonder what does Sean think? I don't know, like, I don't know. He keeps annoyed with me? No, but he's always over at Jason's house. Yeah, I think he understands. Yeah, yeah, well, they, they live on the same property, yeah. yeah it's not my fault you don't live here. I know. I wish, I wish he could build you a house too. Hopefully I'm moving next door soon. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, get rid uh, of me. Yes. <laughs> Does your still building have a YouTube channel? Give it a shout out. No, I'm boring. So it's always it's hard to find content every week, you know. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. Like, big ups to you for doing the whole um, social media thing. I find it very difficult being yeah. so sharing of like my vacation, my time, my outfit, my dishwashing my clothes I find it very 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 difficult taking pictures I mean that's a difficult test part because nobody knows how to take a good picture yeah. of me well, I get someone you take good pictures of me I try yes, so I love hard I take, take wicked pictures of you okay like I take a picture of Jody and she's like <sighs> and then my own is like <sighs> I'm like Joe <laughs> sorry What's one thing you can do that your sibling can't? I can stand on my head. I can stand on my head too, but you can stand on your head longer on, on, on concrete. Yes, you did that on a road in Trinidad. I wonder if I can find that video. Oh my gosh, you remember when I, when the drop and roll song came on in Trinidad? Let me see. Oh, no carnival this year. Peter and Mick probably have that video. I'm gonna try and find it and drop it in here along with that ugly arm. Statue you gave me. Did you get along when you were younger? No. No. Not at all. It's to run her down with the kitchen knife. I don't know what I would have done if I caught you though. Chop you up? I, I was afraid you would. Like mm -hmm. when you used to tie my hands and behind my back and tie my feet together and throw me in the deep end of the pool. That was for a reason. What? Really? Because in case you were kidnapped and somebody was to throw you in water, you would know how to get back up to the surface. I find that if somebody kidnaps you right now, you would know how to rescue yourself. Remember, you just go, whoop, 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 and then <laughs> make it to the top. Do you not know how to get to the surface of the water if you're I thrown do. in and your hands are behind your back? I do. You even got to level 10, because I tied your feet too, remember? <laughs> you're welcome. Thanks, Joe. You're welcome. What, what was mommy and daddy thinking? Like, oh, Nandi, they're tying up each other again and putting themselves in the pool. I have no idea. I think of all of these things. Like, what did mommy think when, we, when she would go to the supermarket and we'd disappear for hours and we were like in the back Yo, room? We would like go, mommy, mommy um, used to love to go to the supermarket with us. I don't know why. She, me, oh, she worked. And then she'd pick us up from school and go to the supermarket and we found the stock taking room. And the stock taking room just had boxes and we would climb up the boxes and find like the top part and we'd chill out up there and we'd think the workers don't see us. This time the workers are just like, Yo, we can't talk to them. Like, what are we going to tell them to do? And they're over there, like, drinking and smoking. And, you know, so we were just there, like, chilling out on the boxes and climbing around. We never mm. stole anything. We never no. owned anything. But, but we would we, we'd find, like, the pricing guns and we'd, like, use all yes. the guns. <laughs> I'm sure they had security cameras back there, like, man, these girls are back here again. And mommy would, like, not even come looking oh, for like, us. Do, 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 do. It's like, where are the girls? Probably around the back. <laughs> I know. Mom was so crazy. Yeah, mommy was definitely crazy. So you, you, you're not concerned that we're like around the back of the supermarket, like. Mommy was so crazy. And we come back with like price tags all over. <laughs> us. Come girls, 
But I guess it was easier for her because she could get the shopping done without just being like, can I have this? Can I have this? Yeah, this is true. This is true. This is true. I'm sure she maybe said to, to the butcher, I'm sure she was like, yo, the girls are back there. Just make sure they don't run away. <laughs> Um, what is your funniest childhood memory as siblings? Funniest? Oh my god. Funniest gosh. out of all of like what what would, what are you saying? I can't choose one. Like there's so many. I like the stockings on the head. Which one are you thinking of? Like what's your top funniest? Dude, I don't even know. Like I just had such an amazing childhood to be very honest with you. Like I I, I, I think of laughing so much. Yeah. Yeah, we're very blessed in that in that aspect that we can like look I, back at our childhood and be like, yo, that was that good. was good. Like all of those times at Silver Sands, like when we were playing Spin the Bottle, Truth or Dare. Oh my gosh, when you uh, when you um, egged Creamer, that guy Creamer. <laughs> so that that year we teased Tama so hard for the third nipple. Oh yeah. Yo, we, I don't know. I can't choose yeah, on. We, we have a lot of great... And we were troublemakers. So there was like constant like action and things going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> what did you fight about the most as children? Wearing your clothes. I would always... No, that would be as like an adolescent. As a, as a adolescent. Jodie was like a mean little girl, you know. She was mean. Yeah, I gave her lots of trouble. She was a bully. Like we'd fight about everything because she was just mean. Sorry. It's okay. Are you closer now when you were younger? What is your favorite thing about your sibling? We answer that. What habits does your sibling have that you would love to change? I can't say because I feel I'm perfect. But I hang around you, so you're perfect too. To perfection. Do you compete with each other? No. No. Unless we like set it like when we're doing the weight loss challenge, but then we kind of were just like, you go, and then it was like, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> but you know, I feel like Jody is so different from me in so many ways. Like again, that she's vain, and I'm really not. So, but I, that's something that I could get competitive about and trying to like up my beauty. But I really don't care about it that as yeah. much as Jody. But I appreciate how you are. Like remember when you found me in Barcelona and you were like. How poor are you? <laughs> so, I, so I moved to Barcelona and I was living there for like a super long time. And when Jody came, my hair was like long down to my bottom. I was wearing no makeup. This time I don't her nails were done. Her eyebrows weren't done. She had on no makeup. And she had on like like street clothes. She looked like you know one of those a big rags white European people. And I'm like. <laughs> How, how how much money like I don't how poor are you? What's happening? Is everything okay? I was like, like I'm, first I'm gonna take says. you home. I'm gonna take you home now, okay? <laughs> like you were over there struggling the battered European life. I was just waiting for you to back out your backpack and be like, let's go this way. <laughs> mm. So I mean like I appreciate Jody's differences because then I had to like go and get a mani pedi, I had to go and cut yeah. my hair. Yes. Jody was Love like eyebrow. <laughs> And then Trace was like, the next day Trace was like, could you maybe not wear so much makeup? Like, just chill out a little bit, you know? We're over here, beautiful girl, Joe. Like, we're over here in Europe. Like, people don't care. We're not going to Bal Harbor Mall in, in Miami. Like, it's like, oh, little makeup. I know, yeah. Jody was like, I don't really yeah. understand. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I just find that in general, though, like competing, I think for the both of us, we kind of look for... The positives or the nice things in people you know like i just don't find but it I as think a that competition no because i think that your highs encourage me and my highs encourage you so yeah. it kind of evens us out a little yeah. bit yeah we don't yeah the competition thing and yeah okay what are things you are both good at mm, joking around i was just gonna say that yeah Forming a fool. Is this it, Gordon? Yeah. We're both good at naps. Yeah, but I don't get to nap anymore, so I'm not a very good napper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Making other people happy. I find that if you come out with us, you're gonna be like, yo, I want to go out with the Stuart sisters every single time. Yeah, we've always found friends in Trinidad. We all, we for the past couple of years we've gone to Trinidad by ourselves and we've always made a friend on the road. Yeah. Like just a random like, person. Hey, hey girls, what's up? Like, hey! Yeah. That's how we met Tenny. 
Yeah, and then remember that girl the first year and she had on those stockings and she, she was carrying somebody important because she had that bodyguard. Yeah, Nina. Her stockings. name was Nina. Who was she? She was like a rich guy's wife, like a very rich yeah. opponent guy in Trinidad. But she came, she became my, or she became my friend. Oh, and the year that we were partying in Trinidad, and it was me, you, and Kana, and we were having such a good time. This guy came to party with us, and we were like, "Hey!" And we partied with him for two days straight. And then when we got home, we realized it was Mike Epps. Not Mike Epps. It was oh um, that that guy with the pretty eyes. What's yeah. his name? Oh yeah, yeah, not Mike Epps. Um. Oh. It was like this actor, this really yeah. sexy, sexy was that actor. When we saw the pictures and they were, then they were doing captions, we're like, you know, Sarah friend, oh my God, we're it's like, so and so. And it was funny because the next year we went back to Trinidad Carnival mm. and his bodyguard came for us and he was like, yo, it's you girls. And the bodyguard was like, yeah, he has your picture <laughs> on his bedside table. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I can't yeah, even think cute. of. I can't even think when I don't watch TV. Yeah, you're right. Yes, I mean, he said. Okay, anyway, that's funny. Huh? We'll find a picture and show you. Who is more creative? I don't know. I think it depends on what what it is. Yeah. yeah. Who is a better singer? All right, Trey. Trey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Who is more introverted and extroverted? Oh, I, I wanted to just tell you. You know when Sarah Cummings told Scott that she that he could sing. Why would anybody tell Scott that he can sing? Scott cannot sing. Scott uh, cannot sing. He cannot sing. He cannot sing. But when, give us if Scott gets a chance, uh, you know what people think they can sing and they do this weird like, uh, and it's like Scott, shut up. So this weekend he was like singing all weekend, backed out a guitar to big guitar, and I was singing and I was like, Scott, please stop, you sound like mosquito in my ear. And he's like, Sarah Cummings said Sarah I could sing. Sarah. All right, I know who to go to know, Sarah. All right, Sarah calls all of this. <laughs> who is more talkative? Me. Really? I don't know, you're, mm, okay. Who is more athletic? Me. Who sleeps longer? You. Who reads more? I don't think we read. Yeah. I've done lots of reading right now, like I'm proud of myself, I haven't made too many mistakes. Who is funnier? Me. Thank you are. Who is lazier? I'm, I'm gonna... Uh, I think I have to pick and rub shoulders on that one. Yeah. Who is more chew? Me, I'm yeah. definitely more uptight. Do you have a favorite game when you were kids? Yeah, run with the knife. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what is one thing your sibling cannot live without? You. Oh, yeah, that's for real. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> Which one of you is more likely to turn out like your mom or dad? Scott says all the time that I'm like daddy. And really? I, yeah, and I think you're a lot like mommy. Okay. What is the weirdest habling, habling? What is the weirdest habit your sibling has? I don't know. You I like to protect your punky a lot. Yes, I do. I do. I do. Like when she sleeps, she has to cover. She has to hold her pum pum. Like I, we've said to her, we're like, just because you're sleeping doesn't mean it's gonna run away. <laughs> I do have to guard it. Yeah, she has to guard it. So even if she's downstairs, like on the couch and the kids are there, she'll go to see you and start placing her hands. She has to guard her home. Okay, no problem. All right. I don't have any word. If you got a call that your sibling was in jail, what would be the crime that they committed? Or what would you. Uh, if you got a call that your sibling was in jail, what would be the first crime that comes to mind? I would think that Jodie like knocked out a bitch or something like that. Like she punched somebody and they were like, <laughs> <laughs> they were like KO. <laughs> like, that would be my first like reckless endangerment. No, not reckless endangerment. Like, I don't know, but like I can yeah. definitely see Jodie just be like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. All teeth on the ground. I didn't have my knife. <laughs> <laughs> what was the dumbest decision your sibling has ever made? Mm. Dumbest decision. I would say dating that potato guy I used to date. Oh wow. I dated a lot of like Racine just carded me about all of my exes yesterday. Not yesterday, the other day. And I was like, wow. Happy New Year tree. <laughs> yeah. You found. What was the smartest decision your sibling has ever made? I don't know, I think you make good 
good decisions all the time. I can't say smartest. Like, mm -hmm. I think was the, the smartest was to try out Carnival because then we've had consistent fun. Bring it back to Carnival. Yeah. Which one of you you think will get married first? Uh, Which one of you is most likely to have a big family? Which one is most likely to excel in their career? All right, which one will be the best housewife? <laughs> what is one thing that has changed that what is one thing that has changed about your sibling as they have become older? Um you know, I would say Jodi has calmed down a lot. You know, when she was younger, she was very troublesome. Um, Jodi was just always she was just troublesome. She was just a rude, she was just a rude girl, a raga muffin. And I'd say as maturity came along, a lot of these, a lot of this mischief that she would like to make has just, you know, dissipated. We enjoy, she enjoys a little mischief now, but it's nothing to like the extent that she used to. <laughs> I'm not boring, that's all. <laughs> you can answer the question. Oh, sorry, what was the question again? <clears throat> One thing she, as your sibling has become older. I, I don't, like, there's some form of a maturity, because I remember when you're like, I'm going to be the fabulous drunk aunt. And now you're like married and pregnant. Can you and believe it all happened in like a year. I'm not gonna lie, like it still shocks me. It, it shocks me too. Like it was always just like, you know, you were gonna be Levi's auntie, the fun auntie, you know? <clears throat> and now I just... really didn't think I was gonna get married. Or have children, like that was definitely not on yeah, my book. You, sh you shocked a lot of people with that one. Shot myself. What's my favorite song? <laughs> um, it would definitely have to be a Lady Saw song. Or it's definitely a, or or a Beanie Man song from his or no from his album. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Or it could be a Tanya Stevens song. Jeez, you love Tanya, Tanya Stevens. All great writers. Those yeah, three yeah, yeah. artists. I think I could just listen to them forever, especially their catalog from the nineties. But I mean, if Buju drops a song, you're all over that too. But I, I just find that that's like. But that's your thing though, Jody. Like I'll jump into her car and she has some like old Boogo Boogo music. Yeah. I love a Boogo Boogo music. Like, she has that playing and I'm like, I've never even heard of these <laughs> songs before in my life. Yes, man. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. Oh, your favorite song? It's probably like something from the top 40s chart. Like, so it's probably K-pop. K-pop. Yeah, I, I definitely like a top 40s girl. Oh. Um, if your sibling was an animal, what would they be? I think Jody would be a jaguar. But she's sexy. Mm. But she's stealthy. Mm -hmm. And don't fuck with her. Ah. Because I have a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely say you're some kind of a bird. A bird? Yeah, because you're, you're a free spirit if you want to fly. Ah, ah, you know, ah. I can just see like you in the sky going like this. Ooh. Yeah, you know like the you know like the, the when they hover but yeah. hover sideways and it's a graceful like glide it's a glide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're like not a dog. Dogs dogs are weird. What about a duck? Dogs like, can't fly. How do you mean they don't have like they fly? Dogs they, fly? Yeah, they fly from pond to pond. Remember ducks fly? Oh yeah, they go north for the for the winter. Right. Mm -hmm. So their bodies don't look like they could fly because they're so fat. Yeah, they do have a little, yeah, like, a okay. little tum tum. Who is better at ma Who's a better cook? Or, Me, for say, sure. Trace. Who's a better dancer? Me, for sure. Who's more pessimistic? I wouldn't say we're pessimistic. I'd say we're, I'd say we're realistic. I'm Jodie. Ah, it yes. Would be, it would definitely be Jodie. Yeah. I wouldn't say she's pessimistic. It's just that she's realistic. Like, you'd be like, hey, let's all go skinny dipping in the ocean and we're going to get caught jellyfish is going to bite you on your vagina and then we're going to have to rub calamine down there and you're going to get a yeast infection from the calamine it's just like all right maybe that was a bad idea <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> um is there anything you don't like doing together no you want to make a sandwich for your sibling what do you put on it 
vegetables. <laughs> vegetables and like some weird, what's the vegan cheese? Like all that weird stuff. Like and she probably don't even want bread. Like put vegetables in between some lettuce and sprinkle some like vegan cheese. You're like, oh my God, this is so good. It's so healthy for me too. And Jody will eat it. Jody will eat it. She will be like, yeah, but mm, this is nice. Yeah, or if you made it, I'll eat it. But I just find that sometimes you're, Jordan don't have no eating discrepancies. I eat everything. Yes. Okay. Well, guys, I hope you've gotten to know us a little bit more. Make sure you drop a comment in the box below and let me know if you like this one here and if you'd like to see us do more videos together and what kind of videos would you like to see. And um, that's it for this week's video of, what was it? Sibling Tag. Sibling Tag. <laughs> With a knife. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, guys, make sure you drop a comment, like the video, and of course, make sure you subscribe. Bye! Hey!